Just like everybody else, I love snacks and fast food, but sometimes get tired of traditional ones. So I decided to combine the concept of hot dogs and onion rings and make up hot dog rings. And believe it or not, they came out spectacular. So let me show you how to make these. The first thing you want to do is grab yourself up some all beef hot dogs. And I just got the traditional ones on sale, but you can get yourself some super duper hot dogs if you want. Grab up a good sharp knife and I'm going to slice these into, oh, I'd say about four sections. And of course, make these as even as you possibly can. Then I'm going to go down the center of each section and cut them again so they become a little bit teeny weeny. They don't have to be perfect, but you know, just do what you can. Okay, grab one up and fold it into a circle and I use the outside edge one just to make it all pretty like. And of course, as you can see, you want a bit of an overlap there. Then just take a toothpick and insert it through each edge so you've kind of got a cute little fancy ring. Just look at this, guys. Doesn't that look great? Now we'll just do this one more time so everybody gets it. So grab it up, fold it into a circle, then get the toothpick, insert it right through both edges until you get that fancy, tiny, cute little ring. Now let's work on our first dredging station, starting with half a cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl, followed by a quarter cup of cornstarch. Now we are going to season everything up with half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, some pepper, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We'll just go ahead and dump this in. To this, we're gonna add a beaten egg, then start adding in some really, really, really cold water a little bit at a time and go ahead and beat this up. And you do want that water really cold and you could also use sparkling water to make them extra super crispy. Of course, a little more water and continue beating and you're gonna do this in about three. So some water beat, water beat, and water beat again. Until you get a consistency, something like this, it could be a little bit thicker. And if you want it thicker, just add a little more flour. Then, of course, grab up those cute little wiener rings into the batter so they are completely coated. Then into our second dredging station consisting of some panko breadcrumbs. And yes, make sure these guys are really, really well coated. You don't have to use panko. You can use Italian too. I just like the texture of the panko. And of course, we'll just set these aside on a wire rack. Now once our rings are all made up, I'm just going to pick them up and add them to some oil that I've got heated up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. And if you don't have a thermometer to know the oils at 350, just simply grab up some of that bread crumb, drop it into the oil, and if it sizzles and bubbles, you know the oil is ready. So we're just going to fry these up just for a few minutes. It won't take very long until they are a beautiful golden brown. And of course, while you're frying, you kind of want to flip them and flop them around. All right, back onto that wire rack to drain off any of that excess oil. And aren't these looking good, my friends? I solemnly declare just about good enough to eat. So I'm just going to pick one up after they've cooled for a few minutes and just kind of pull that toothpick out. And as a matter of fact, you could leave the toothpick in because they would present maybe quite nicely. But just look at this. Doesn't this look incredible? Put them into a basket with a restaurant liner that I did find on Amazon. Of course, drizzle some ketchup over the top. And you can also, you know, you could put it on the side or use honey mustard, whatever you like. I just found it looked kind of cool over the top, but you know, that's just me. And there they be, guys. Our simple, easy, non-traditional hot dog rings. You got to admit, these are a crowd pleaser. I think anyway. And you know, I let these sit for about five or 10 minutes purposely and you pick them up and they still are incredibly crunchy and they are super good. I'm not faking it. They really are well worthwhile making. As I say in every video, if you are hungry for more, do us a favor, like and subscribe.